cookie. Welcome to our first Christmas episode. If you all know me by now, you know that I absolutely love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. Today, we're making gingerbread cookies, which you can make with your kids. So this is my business partner, Alan's son, Ander, and we're going to make gingerbread cookies, decorate them, and have fun in the kitchen. So let's get started. What is the first step? Ooh, the first step is to mix the butter and the sugar. <laughs> Put the butter, then the brown sugar. I powdered it in a blender, so it makes it easier to blend. And then we're gonna beat it in the stand mixer for a few minutes until it's light and fluffy. That's all. Let it go. Want to see? After about a minute and a half, I'm just going to scrape everything down and then beat it again for another minute or two. Ash, can I try it? Come on, try it. Let me... <laughs> it's a way. <laughs> okay. What do you think the next step is? Yes. This one. Yeah. Egg. Yeah. Yes. The egg. And wow. And this one. All right. All of these we're gonna mix into this. Yeah. And we're gonna put it here. Yeah. Okay. So after it's been beating for about three minutes, it looks like this. Yes, baby. Can I try more? I'll give it to you soon after this. <laughs> You're gonna get a sugar rush. <laughs> but I love it. You love it. Next, we're gonna add the egg. Egg! And beat it for about 30 seconds to one minute. Okay. So after it's had its 30 seconds, it's time to add the flour and the spices. And then let's mix everything into the flour. So we have clove powder, then we have salt, then we have ground pepper, nutmeg powder, then we have a lot of ginger powder, and finally cinnamon powder. Okay. Now let's mix this up. Sure. Hold it like this. Hold it like this. Come here. And then mix everything. I want to put it just in here. Yeah, that's what you're going to do next. I love it. You love I it? Smell. I smell it. Yeah, it smells good, no? Yes. Okay. Shall we add it in? One second, let me give you the bowl here. Okay. Yeah. All done. Good job. Don't worry. Just dust it off. Okay. Now we beat this again on low speed for about 30 seconds and you're good to go. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Once you scrape the sides down, just beat it for the last 10 seconds and you can already see the dough coming together, so you're almost done. Almost done? Almost done! Almost? Almost! Almost done. Count! Five! One, two, three, four, five! We're good! Five, five, five. Okay, now. What? 
What? Is it locked? <laughs> it's done. What's next? What's next is we are going to put this in the fridge for one hour and then we can shape the cookies. Divide Ginger the dough into cookie. two halves. Ginger cookie. Ginger cookie. And pat it down on the cling wrap. Makes it easier when you have to roll. Ash. Yes, and baby. Then try more. Try. <laughs> and then cover it up. And off to the fridge, it goes to cool for one hour. So we're back after an hour of this being in the fridge and the dough is a little bit hard, which is exactly what you need. So now we're gonna roll them up and cut them into our desired shape, bake them and then decorate them. Look, it's broken. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's actually break this into another half. We'll get it here. Why you can broke it? Why you can broke it? Okay, now what we do is we're going to sprinkle a tiny bit of flour on the surface. Can I put it in me too? Yeah. Okay, spread it in. Okay, now let's do a tiny amount. Can I try it it's a for little you to bit? Do. No, roll it now. One second. Okay, now let it move it. Okay, now, which one do you want to use first? Santa Claus. Santa Claus, here. And push it. <laughs> there he is. Santa Claus. Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Now, Santa we just Cla remove the excess and then Santa Claus is we done. transfer Santa carefully to our baking tray. There! Today we make cookies. <laughs> so while we prep our next batch, let's bake our first batch of cookies in an oven that's been preheated to 175 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. The dough is too soft. You put it in the fridge. Yes, guys. If the dough becomes too soft, just put it in the fridge for about 5-10 minutes and then start rolling again. And even as you're rolling, if it breaks, it's okay. It's a very versatile dough. Just press it back with your fingers and put it together. It'll be all fine. Plus, the end goal of today is to have fun in the kitchen, so don't stress so much. And there, come, let's make the big, big snowflake. That's the other way. Other way. Yeah. Press it. Oh, yeah. Big snowflake. So our first batch of cookies are done and they came out of the oven. They smell delicious. The kitchen smells delicious. Now our second batch is going to go to bake. Okay. What's next, Ash? The next step, we're going to make our simple icing. So here we have some icing sugar. I'm just going to add a little bit of milk and vanilla to it until it reaches the consistency that is uh, perfect for the cookies. One sec, just a little by little. You can put a tiny drop of vanilla. Don't add too much because then it will change the color to become super dark and we don't want that. So once your icing is ready, this is the consistency that you want. You can either glaze the cookies straight away with the spoon or you can put it in a piping bag and then do it very neatly, which is what we're going to do today. Okay. Put it in and take it like that. Okay. 
And if you want at this point, you can add some colors to make your cookies look colorful as well. But I'm gonna keep it white today because we have a lot of fun sprinkles. Yeah. With the stars, I'll put, I'll put dots here and then you can put the gold ones on each one, okay? I want, I want to put this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, well, shall we start with this one? Yes. Okay. Okay, put one on there. We've been having so much fun in the kitchen decorating. We can go on for hours because it's fun, it's addictive. But first, mm. do you want to try how it is? Delicious. You like it? Mmm, it's yummy. You guys have to make this recipe. You will love it, your kids will love it, and you will love making it to them. You make a fun day out of it. So when you do make this recipe, don't forget to tag me at Infinity Platter on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all my future recipes and adventures. Merry Christmas and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.